Hey, what's up guys? Do it to it with Mikey Sun. Uh, I have a little product review. I bought this uh, back in February of 2018 and I've bought two of them. I think I bought one uh, a little bit earlier but I, I, I bought a second one because you know I thought I liked it uh, a pretty good bit. It's made by oh, L A M M C O U. I don't know how you say it. I'm just a southern boy. I don't know these things. What it is is a holder for your handle for, that goes on your handlebars for action cameras. Just like so. And what sets this one apart is it's all fully aluminum. It's really made well. And really, look how it came. That's how it came. It's a beautiful box. It looks like jewelry. You open it up, boom. Good product with a couple of issues. Um, I've been using it. I, I just packed it up for demonstration here. It comes with an Allen key and it comes with a metal uh, tightener. You know, your typical, your typical little uh, fastener here. Of course, it goes like this. It goes in here. We all know how it works. Screw it in there. We've all got them. We've all seen them. Uh, this one is built really well. Having said that, it also uh, has its issues. And really, the, the one issue that sticks out is it vibrates. Now, you're not going to be able to see it on camera, but the part here that turns has the tendency to move a little freely and so when you're going down the road this is all held nice and snug but then you've got this top part that spins and it it clicks in really well I mean it's it's a good design it's just I think maybe they need a rubber plate of some kind in there maybe a rubber band I've even thought of putting a rubber band in here it has a little groove where, of course, this spins. I have thought about putting a rubber band in here to see if that would dampen the uh, vibration. And I know a lot of people don't use handlebar mounts anymore. But some people do. And that's really where I started out. Uh, whenever I got my action camera just a few months, a few months back, uh, I went ahead and I purchased a couple of these and they were yeah it looks like it was fifteen dollars on Amazon um, <coughs> it's a good quality sturdy item I mean it's full metal the tightener that comes with its metal it's all just good quality aluminum uh, my only issue is with the vibration and I'm going to insert a, a clip, a video clip of the noise that it can, that it can make. concerned about your audio um, uh, and you a lot of times turn your audio down and maybe you put music over it then it's not a big issue but if but if you're wanting to uh, record and have some audio from yourself talking or or the outdoors you know while you're riding or something it's it's a little tricky sometimes it's worse than others it just depends on the road depends on your tires <coughs> um, I have used it off-road, I've used it on-road, 
um, it's okay. And, and I hate to not recommend it, just because everyone's moved on to their gimbals and all these other things. Uh, because there's more to shooting, uh, shooting your action than just a gimbal. I'm not crazy about all that. I think it holds the camera too still and it takes some of the fun away. My personal opinion. So this is my recommendation if you want a handlebar mount for your action camera. I would possibly look into trying to get a rubber band up in that seal, up in that area right there. Those little tiny rubber bands. I think that might help a little bit. And also, depending on, um, well, let's see, it's on your handlebars like so, but also depending on how you angle this, like sometimes I'll turn it around, like it's here, I'll turn it around and point it up at my face just for a different view if I want to talk to the camera. And sometimes it holds it a little bit better. Sometimes it... Uh, depending on how you angle it, uh, it can cut down the noise a little bit. So it's versatile, it swivels, it's all aluminum. I think it's a good I think it's a good purchase. I don't use them as much as I did. I have a helmet mount that I use and I have a, a kind of a do-it-yourself uh, chest mount that I used from some spare stuff that I have laying around. Uh, some basically Walmart Velcro straps and, and just uh, some stuff that I had laying around. This, this was actually part of my action camera lid that came with my action camera and this was out of a back brace that I bought. Uh, just some thick rubber. And of course a mount that I glued on uh, and uh, it holds quite well. No, I didn't have to glue this one. I glued the plate onto the pad, but this little mount came on here already with, with the action camera slid into it in the box. So that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, this, this works pretty good. I've used it off-road, on-road. It does good. I don't even have shoulder straps with it. I just have a Velcro strap that I strap around me. It holds. I don't know if my little fat belly helps that out or what, but it feels pretty good. All right, this is my review of the Lamour, uh action camera handlebar mount. So everyone, check it out if you want. You know, see what you think. Uh, also, check out my shirts. Um, at the end of my videos, I usually have a short video. You can email me. You can go on to Facebook at DITI Shirts. And you can join my group. And my message is uh, a positive message. I really don't make any money on the shirts at all. Uh, it's just uh, to get my shirts out there and my humble little message to get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. So, everyone, have a good day.